Hello, my name is Joey Gimenden. I am the coordinator for residence education over Walton Hall, and today we're going to be uh, taking a tour of Bud Walton Hall. Um, so, if y'all can take a look over here, I'm going to point out what, uh, where we're at, what's located around us. Uh, right now, we're at this, uh, the main south entrance. Um, over here, uh, we have um, uh, the stadium. So you're right Razorback next to the stadium, stadium. Razorback Stadium. So <laughs> super close access. Um, and we also have the Hyper, which is where our main uh, gymnasium and recreation, everything is located. So um, also we have a, a main row of parking, which is all along this road um, from the start of Walton all the way down. So if you have a resident pass, that's one of the couple different options that you can choose um, up to live in Walton. So we're gonna head up into uh, this main south entrance and uh, show you all uh, what the building and uh, uh, tour some rooms and everything. Um, down here is actually where one of our main group offices is located. Um, so fun fact. Oh, and then Emily, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Emily. I'm a marketing intern with University Housing. Um, feel free to tell us where you're tuning in from and yeah. Where would someone eat if they were? Uh, yeah, if home? you were to go eat, um, there's two really close options that you can choose. One is uh, Pomfret Dining, um, just right down the hill um, next to the Hyper as Pomfret Hall, and you have access to their dining hall. And if you go right up this hill, um, at the top of it is where um, 1021 Food Hall is. And there's also retail locations there. Same down in Pomfret, they have some retail like food locations that you can use your meal plan as well. Um, and here is actually when, where one of our three uh, laundry rooms is located. Um, we have two that are on the north side of the building. Um, it's like north slash central side of the building. And then we also have one on the first floor of the south side of the building. Um, someone... Yeah, we got a couple comments. Cameron yeah. says he's tuning in from Yellville, Arkansas. Yeah, Yellville. And Beautiful someone area. asks, can y'all look at the south room, at a south room pretty please? Well, guess yes. where we're going. Yes, we actually have two versions of a south room. So um, the first style is going to be our community style. Um, this is... Um, Mr. Burke, can you actually do me a favor? Can you yeah. walk down the end of the hallway and tell me what that last room number is? Yeah, so we'll sure, let sure. You know. um, but if you live, uh, we'll let you know what room numbers these are. It's just the first floor. There's a couple, there's about six rooms like these. And there's our community style. Um, this is not, this is just a couple special rooms. Um, but we'll give you those room numbers here in a second. Um, and this is what some, like I said, just some of the south side, female side look like. So, um, it's all movable furniture. Um, it's just uh, uh, it's community style, so we'll show you the bathroom here in a moment. So you got 133 to 147 only odd. Yes, 133 to 147 odd. That uh, on the female side, this is the style room that you would live in. Um, anything else outside of those numbers, um, you're gonna have a different room. Okay, and odd 133. And would you give them a quick 360? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, someone said the connection was getting bad, but I have full bars, so please let us know if it's fixed or not. We're kind of in a lot of uh, cinder block right now. We'll be out of the cinder block pretty soon. And then yeah. down here is where that community bathroom is for the... Um, like I said, it's just like these six rooms um, that are right here. So um, the six residents that live on this side uh, will have a community bathroom. Every other room will have a Jack and Jill style, which is they'll share it with a, one roommate. So it's just a couple bathrooms on this side. Uh, so sorry, showers on this side. And then toilets right here. And then that's it for this. There's two little sinks. And then next. We're going to show you what, if you live on the south side of the building, uh, most likely you'll live in one of these that we're going to show you here in a moment. How long have you been with housing now, Joy? This will be my fourth year working at the University of Arkansas as a CRE, a Coordinator for Resident Education. Um, in my role, I supervise uh, Walton, Gregson, and Duncan apartments. Um, I supervise the RAs. Um, I serve as our main advisor for our lead hawks for these buildings. Um, serve conduct cases, respond to incidents. I'm on uh, one of the series uh, that we respond to incidents that, that is above our RA's head. 
Um, so yeah, I have a fourth year here that I really love Fayetteville. 130. Awesome. We're in room 130. Nice. Um, we got a question. Cameron yeah. asks, is it true that north side and south side rooms are gender separated, boys in north, girls in south? Yes, so boys, um, uh, uh, the north side of the building is male and the south side is female. All right, and we'll do a little room 360. Yeah, we'll jump out as you get that full, full view here. All right. So this, the furniture in South Side and the North Side are also very different. Um, south Side um, and North Side same, share the same similar um, um, bed. Um, but the rest of the furniture is different. Uh, north side has more, uh, less movable furniture than south side does. Um, because as you can see in the south side furniture, um, you can have a small little um, a nightstand, uh, a desk area that you can separate to two different pieces. Um, you have a chair, a wardrobe area that has Someone a bar asked. as well. Um, you'll also have a three, uh, five drawer uh, dresser um, over here in the sink area. You have this cabinet space, your own sink for your room, and then three little drawers along with a little cubby area. Right. So lots of furniture to utilize. Um, we got a couple questions. Yeah. Uh, Cameron said, sorry, I missed what you were saying about the gender because yeah. the video was buffering. Yeah, so males live on the north side of the building and the females live on the south side of the building. So it is gender um, separated. Um, the shower, you're going to share your shower with your, um, your suite mates. Um, so um, most rooms, I would say, are Jack and Jill style. Like we said, there is a couple rooms that are private, single um, bathrooms, but there's just a couple of those rooms um, um, on the south side. That I don't, none of the north side rooms, all the north side rooms, um, you share a bathroom with someone else. So there is a couple special south side rooms, but for the um, most part, they all share a bathroom. Uh, someone had asked if the wardrobes have a mirror, and yes. they do. Um, when it comes to the bed, um, if you would like to have your bed lofted a certain height, this is what our traditional height, right when you guys come in here for moving, where it's going to be um, sitting at. Um, and if you want to have your bed um, either lifted higher um, or lower or anything like that, if you go to our website, um, our moving website actually has like, uh, detailed uh, information about how what the length between each peg is, um, how high you can get those beds up and everything too. Um, and if you know what height you want to have yours at, uh, and you don't want to do it right when you get here, you're going to have it done for you, um, you can go to our UR, um, um, uh, there's a page on there that you can go to for requests and stuff like that, for maintenance requests. Um, and you can submit that um, work order there. Yeah, um, Google Google UARC and fix it. Fix it. F I X I T. Yeah. And you'll get to the form where you can request that. Yeah. So uh, make sure you do that if you. Um, but if not, if, when you get here and you um, want to do it yourself, we'll provide you a mallet and you all can do it. And we can give you a hand if you need it. Cool. And feel free to ask any questions you guys have about any dimensions or about anything. South specifically. Yeah. About South specifically right now. Yeah. Is there any South, uh, uh, if, you're, if you're a female or live on the South side of the building, if you guys have any questions for measurements or anything like that, let us know. Um, because if not, we'll head over to the North and show you all one of those rooms. And they do have something lucky going on there. First year students are living in here for the yes. first time in, I don't know, for, for a, a long, long time. time. Yeah, so this building will be all first year students. Um, like Christopher said, it's, a, it's the first time we've had that happen in a while, so um, yeah, and it's a good community. Um, we also have two giant lobby areas, we'll show you one. Uh, there's one for that as primary use for the north side, and there's another one for the south side, but you have access to both no matter where you live. Um, so we'll show you what those kind of look like later in a moment. We got a couple questions. Sure. Uh, someone asked, what floor is this? This is the second, no, this is the first floor. First this floor. Is first floor. And that same person also asked, how tall is the wardrobe? Well, let's see. Let's find out. Here we are. Joey, I'll let you do the honors. You know how to use the device? No, I use that before. Okay, that's fine. I'll yeah, you it. got it. I got this. All right. It is uh, basically 60 inches. All right. And Susie asked, is there a space behind the shower for storage? I mean, you can put one in there if you want to, um, but there's not like a designated space or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, so. All right. Well, those are the current questions we have. We're caught up.
Okay, let's All go right. to the north side. And as y'all can see, the um, the hallways lead to uh, have an external sort of interest. So you see the uh, windows and everything like that. Um, and you can see a view of like Bud Walton and everything, uh, depending on what side of the building that you live on. Oh, Susie was wondering about storage across from the shower. Oh, yeah, we can show you that again. So there. So there's not really a whole lot of space between the shower and the wall. Uh, you can hang up some stuff if you'd like to, though. Um, but or you can put some storage space up, uh, right above the toilet as well if you have like uh, one of those like stands and stuff. That might be helpful. Like a tension rod stand or something. Yeah. All right. Over to the north side. So we're at the north main entrance of the building. Um, at this area, um, right when you walk in, um, you're going to see our front jet, front desk, and our, we also have a community bathroom over here as well. Uh, this area, uh, we'll always have an R, we'll have an RA working here after hours, um, usually like 4 p.m. to like uh, midnight during the weekdays, uh, and they'll also work here over here in the weekends and stuff like that as well. Um, uh, so this is not where your packages and mail all go to. We do have mailboxes. Um, we just walk by some down there. There's also some over here uh, right behind the desk. Um, all your packages will actually be delivered up to Gregson. So it's just going up the hill. Um, and that's our first residence hall. It's right next to 1021 food hall. So if you're like, oh, let me go get some food, then go grab my package. It's super convenient. Right, right when you go get food, you can go grab it and stuff. Uh, right here is actually where my office is going to be. Um, I'll work out of here primary, uh, primarily for my three buildings. Um, so if you ever have any questions or anything like that, you can come reach out to me. Um, we also have... Um, our water uh, uh, water bottle station here, um, and it's a re reusable, um, uh, sorry, refillable um, water station. It's got a standy epi. Yes, it does. So cool. Um, over here, we have um, recycling. Um, so cardboard station, um, any sort of recycling. We actually this building won the Recycle Mania two years in a row um, back in I believe 2018 and 2019. So. Uh, we're super big over here recycling. We also have like a dumpster out there and compost and stuff like that as well since we're right next to the Volunteer Food Action Center. Um, so um, they're really awesome. They work outside the Walton building um, on, the main, on the front entrance over here. So um, if you, it, they're really great for if you have any sort of food insecurity needs and stuff like that. Um, they're a great uh, tool and resource to use. This um, was one of the prizes that was won. Yeah, we had during Recycle Mania. Yeah, we won that. We won station. some uh, new furniture as well. Nice. So Yeah. Um, over here is our community kitchen. Um, so you can actually, if you don't have your own kitchen supplies, you can go to that front desk um, that we just showed you and request some supplies. Um, they'll provide some pots and pans, that sort of stuff if you need it. Um, we also have a community fridge um, as well. And that's actually one of our, our uh, food pantry um, little locations that we have in some of our other buildings that we'll put food items in for students that need something. Yeah. So, yeah. And so we're going to show you one of our main lobby areas. And those are some of the mailboxes if you haven't shown them that. So these sort of envelopes and that sort of stuff, they'll get delivered there. Walton gets its mail at Walton? At Gregson. So at Gregson. Mail, mail gets here, packages go up to Gregson. Packages is to Gregson. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we have some bidding machine, we have a bidding machine over here. Um, we also have our own piano in the in the green. This is the, the space that we have is called the green room. Um, it's located on the north and well main in the main building slash north side of the building. Um, the residents can use a piano. We have th two little study rooms as well that you can uh, utilize in this lobby area. We have a ping pong table, um, TV furniture. We also have a laundry room and ice machine located um, in the green room area as well. Oh, we've got a couple questions. Yeah. Uh, Cameron asks, when writing out our mailing address, say someone's in room 101, on the top would they write room 101 or PO box 101 for their mail? Yeah, so they would put PO uh, then the room number. So PO then room number. And then someone else me. asked, are there any study rooms? Yeah, so we have two study rooms in uh, in Walton located right here. 
Um, we also, since you guys have access to Gregson, they have some study rooms as well in that building um, that you can utilize down in their basement level as well. Um, but we have two nice ones right here. And we also have um, additional little lounge areas on some of the floors over on the north side that you can utilize. And they're also kind of lobby areas as well that you can use as study spaces outside your own bedroom. Um, on the south side, we do have some, a room that kind of mirrors this. It's uh, a little bit bigger and we call it the brown room. Um, they also have furniture and that sort of stuff. They have a ping pong table, a pool table, and a little um, shuffleboard table as well. Cool. And um, I believe uh, when you go to the housing portal and you look at your uh, personal mailbox number, which is your PMB, it tells you the exact way to write it. Um, so you can give that to family members if you'd like. Uh, someone yeah. asked, is there a piano in Walton? Yes, yes. it is it right is there. It is in the green room uh, near the front desk. And Cameron asks, will masks be required in the lobby space this year? So masks are not required. It is um, encouraged if you are not vaccinated or if you or anyone to wear a mask, it is encouraged, uh, but is not required. Right now in Arkansas, we, we can't legally require the usage of masks uh, because of a legislative act. So no, they're not required, but highly recommended. Yes. So we are now on the, uh, officially we're now on the north side of the building, which is the mail side, and we're gonna be showing you one of those rooms. All right. So. This is room 224. So there's actually four Floors technically, there's um, we have the ground level, then the first, second, and third floor um, over the north side. Um, so as you can see, the room, uh, the layout, and everything. So um, some of the furniture is movable. We have the little nightstand, little dresser um, drawer over here in the bed. You can um, shift that around the room as you want, um, but uh, the rest of the room. Yeah. Um, someone asked. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, there's a light. Yeah, there's a light that's going to be underneath the um, little dresser thing, or not dresser, but the uh, shelf above the desk. Um, someone asked, where are the elevators located? Yeah, so we have an elevator located on the north side, and we have another one that's located on the south side. Um, so uh, the north will get you access to everything but the very bottom ground level. Um, so we'll have, we have some rooms on the bottom ground level on the north side. Um, but um, we can show them that. Uh, there will be signage and everything. When you guys get here, they'll help you locate where the elevators are located. Yeah. And Cameron asks, do all north side rooms on all floors look like this? If not, how can you tell which room is the bigger one with extra shelving and which one is the smaller one? All the rooms on the north side are identical. Um, uh, they all station up and look the, the same way. They have the same furniture and dimensions um, for the most part. So, and in fact, we'll take a look at the other side of this room just so you can see. Yeah, um, but if you can show them, there's some additional shelving over here um, that you can use and stuff. It's a nice study nook, it really is. Yeah, and so the north side also have their own like actual closet um, with a mirror attached as well. Um, someone asked, are there any Ethernet plugins for this room? Yes, all rooms will have an Ethernet port. Oh, it's, it's right there. there. It's over there. It's over there. No, it's over there. It's on the desk. Yeah. So you can plug in uh, to the Ethernet port. Um, every room will have that access that you can use. And we're getting a few more questions in. Yeah. Uh, someone asked, can you measure the length of the windows, please? Okay. Sure. So um, Walton's windows are a little different. We have. You know, the main window, and then we have the upper head. So I wonder if they're. Let's see here. Uh, this is going to up and get. Well, you know, it's going to be an approximate. We're going to be an approximate. Oh, 69. I don't feel good about that number. Let me try again. Put my, put my hand, and then you can. Oh, try to come to that direction. I'm not. Here. Quite <laughs> tall. Oh, what? What's our line? On my TV? What's yeah. happening here? All right, what am I doing? Am I pressing this button? Yeah. Line it up with the... See the red dot? Yeah. Good? Yeah. 
Uh, let me line it up. Should I line it up right here? Line it up with the That's bottom. Awesome. Yeah. Right here. Can you see it again? Yep. 60, uh, 66? Yeah, right around, between 66 and 69 inches. All Let's right. Let's around a little bit. And then uh, someone asked, what's the measurement between the walls in the toilet part of the bathroom for a possible curtain? Let's go check. Thirty-six inches. Thirty-six between these two. Between these two. All right. Well, we're caught up on the questions for now. Okay. But we can show you all. Um, yeah. like, do we show you the closet? We have the drawers, the cubby space, some like how the north side has. Um, and then this one, um, the north side does have a little bench over here, a little more storage space um, in the shower on like south side. So you have this little bingy area for storage that you can put stuff up on and stuff. Um, whereas north side, the south side is just kind of a straight wall. This the south side has more. Uh, the north side has more of that cubby space and stuff. So is it? It might look a little different because the bed is the where it, where it's at, but all the rooms are situated like this. And again, feel. Oh, we are. We do have questions. Um, Laura asks, are north and south side rooms the same size? They are not. They are not. And you can go to a uh, housing website, which is housing.org.au. Go to halls and you can look at Walton uh, North, Walton South, and find the typical uh, room dimensions there on that page. And Jamie asks, how wide is the closet? So from the left to the left, it is 26, 27 inches. And then once you get past the lip, it is 44 inches, 43 right. three quarters. And someone else asked, do north and south have the same chairs? No. No, actually, those are our newer model chairs. And then I think south had an older model. Yeah, chairs. the south side isn't the, the rolling kind. It's just kind of the... Mm -hmm. Pull it out. Pull it out. And those actually, the top comes off. You can you can pull them apart. Yeah, you can use that as the second chair. Mm -hmm. More seating. Um, well, we're currently caught up on the questions. Uh, do you have anything to say to the incoming first year students? Yeah. Um, well, we're super excited to have y'all come here um, in the next couple weeks. Um, um, definitely uh, some tips for y'all. Get to know your RAs that are going to be out in these buildings and stuff like that. They're going to be a super great resource for y'all to. Um, get involved and um, uh, meet new people and um, everything inside of our hall and across campus. We also have an amazing, uh, great new initiative that we're going to be putting on this year called our Pick One Series. Um, so uh, definitely take a look at that. Um, if you haven't signed up for one, I believe they can still do that right now. It's a, um, the situation it is, is Pick One, a lot of different organizations on campus are going to be hosting kind of a meet and greet. It's a fun activity that you're going to be hosting during Welcome Week or Slash A Week. Um, so, and they're going to host a lot of people that are going to be interested in that, that particular area. So, um, UREC is going to host one, Housing is going to host one, um, Ultra Cultural Center is going to host one, all sorts of different major departments and organizations on campus. So, definitely take a look at that and sign up for one and, um, so that way you can meet new people. Uh, they're also interested and have the same passions and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, we got one more question from Cameron. He asks, where can we park during move-in? Yeah, so during uh, move-in itself, we'll have all that information on our website as well if you go to like parking and everything. Um, but I believe during move-in for Walton, they're just going to pull on the north side entrance. You're going to stop there, unload everything. That's the arrival. The That's arrival, arrival stuff. Yeah. And then we're going to have you park uh, temporarily in the, in the... Lot 56? Lot 56. 66. 66. I thought it was like 56. Yeah, I believe Down at the bottom, in yeah. the south side of campus. Yeah, and maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you'll park there temporarily, um, and then once we're all done with our general move in, then you can start per parking permanently in your resident reserved. Uh, if you have a red, yeah, if you have yeah. a red resident so. reserved. Um, technically, resident reserved, yeah, you'll, you'll want to, Saturday, probably around 4 or 5 in the evening. Yeah. We'll open it up yeah. and you can come back. If you have that, if not, in the green lot, mm -hmm. um, then you'll park there. Or if you have one of the garage lots. I know some of the students in Walton, yeah. um, they park permanently in the uh, stadium parking lot, right, which is right next to um, uh, Walton Hall. So. And for parents, after the arrival phase of you like dropping off your stuff here, 
we recommend they go for here, they would go to Harmon parking deck. And the upper floors of that, I think it's like floor 789, level 789, are open, but you'll need to be out by the end of the day. Yeah. All right. Well, we're caught up on all the questions. If you have anything else to say yeah. before we... Just, uh, we're super excited to have you all here in a couple weeks, so um, get ready. If you guys have any questions that we didn't answer today, or maybe you're watching this the day after, uh, feel free to email uh, housing at uark.edu, or you can email me, since I oversee the building, I might be able to get to you a little, a little quicker. Um, my email is jdgemuen at uark.edu, just Joey Gemenden, Um and you can uh, email me if you guys have any questions. But like I said, we're super excited to have you all here, and uh, we look forward to having a great year. See you all soon.